I just got back from my initial consultation to have a breast augmentation and blushing even saying this on camera um, with Dr. Kreisman. On the way to the consultation, I was like, guilt and this is silly and what am I doing and how could I be so vain? And I left like, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I have a lot of conflicting feelings about a decision like this. It's money, it's dangerous, it feels vain, it feels like a little silly, like who do I think I am? <sighs> what I have sort of realized is that I made two people. And in doing so, I mean, I don't wanna like overstate the issue, um, it's not, but I no longer feel in any way like my breasts are a sensual thing for me. And as much as that's a good thing, I mean, that they've been my kids, I, I kind of want my body back. And I think that's an okay thing to want. And I don't know why it feels so selfish. Or I want to feel good about what, what I see when I look in the mirror, and I don't. And I want to feel like I want my, you know, husband to see them, and I don't. And ugh, this is so embarrassing. What I realized is I'm a grown woman. It's my money. It's my body. And I want to feel good about it. And I think that that's kind of great. So I, I think I'm going to book this, which is crazy. Anyway. I'm, bl I'm sitting here in my bedroom alone, talking to a computer and blushing. <laughs> if we're gonna do this and we're gonna talk about this, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you everything, I suppose. So here's how the consultation works. You go in and they, you get, you get naked, which is fine, <laughs> a little weird. And then they take a photo, which immediately gets blown up on the screen and you're like, there they are. So Dr. Kreisman came in and obviously explained everything about the procedures, the options, and answered all my questions. He uses this technology to show you actually what you would look like with a lift or with an implant or with both. Turns out that I need both because breastfeeding reduces volume in the upper part of the breast. But what breastfeeding is a disaster for, for this. So I need both. And then you you play with different like sizes. And what was interesting to me was I'm very uninterested in, in, in breasts. But um, I ended up going for a larger implant than I would have thought because it didn't actually look bigger. It just like created a sort of a better ball. Anyway, that's how the consultation went. Was, I thought it was interesting. And I blushed the entire time. So I'm not only going to do this lift thing. I'm actually gonna do it in two days. It was supposed to be in like months and months and months and then they called and said, well actually we had an appointment open up very soon, would you like that appointment? And I was like, sure. And then sort of was like, oh my God. I was thinking about whether I'm nervous and I think I am and I also think I feel like I'm not supposed to say I am. It's like if you're having surgery for a hmm. broken leg or like a, I don't know, like a thing, like a thing that you have to have surgery for, then you're allowed to be nervous. But I feel like, like I'm not allowed. Like I think you feel nervous. But of course I'm nervous. And what I'm most nervous about is um, coming out and being irreparably something that doesn't feel like me. To me, the point is sort of like restoration to what feels like me, not um, Pamela Anderson, who is lovely, but I do not want to look like her in that area. Are you nervous? Hmm. I mean, <laughs> you're like, don't want to say, you have I ton don't want to say, say anything. anything. It's really funny. I feel like there are some pretty big implications. You feel like I don't find me sexy, and but I, I don't think, think that. And I'm sort of worried about setting a weird precedent for like, like I have to stay young and enticing and you get to just age and be decrepit. And it's, it's, it's even weirder than that. It's like, you have to like pretend you're not getting older or something. Yeah. Can I just say, it's not about not wanting to get older. 
I mean, I, I mean, I use wrinkle creams. I like get Botox on my eye to like open up my eye because it falls down. Mm -hmm. Like I do a lot of things to try to sort of stay youthful feeling. And to me, this is, it strangely is not about youth. It's about like me and what feels like me. I think I might be overthinking this. No, no, no. I think this is, you need to think about this and you're clearly thinking about it and you're, it makes a lot of sense to me from how you seem like you feel about it. And so that's the thing that I feel like is most important. And so I, I say good for you. You sound like you're doing something that you, you want to do and am, that's going to make you happy. It is selfish. It is selfish. What? So is buying a sports car. car. That's how I feel. You know how I feel? I feel like in two days I'm getting a new car or like a kitten. <laughs> It's like a lot of responsibility. I don't know if we're ready for that, but that's kind of nice. It's pretty cute. <laughs> pretty cute. <laughs> you know what I dreamed about last night? What? I dreamed I got a kitten. You did not. <laughs> I did. It's cute though, it was blue. Blue? Yes. So I'll see you in a few hours. I'm gonna look like hell. I'm excited? surgery they send you home right away so that you can be home by the time all the things wear off I feel tightness and a little pain mostly I feel drugs I'm gonna get you home yeah. get you a jamba juice <laughs> Like, what am I, one hour post-op? Yeah. I have to like, breathe. But I have to breathe. Which is unfortunate. I just responded to a work email. I think I'm gonna need you to take this away from me. Hey, let me grab that phone. Here. No, 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 I'll no, just, no, no, don't I'll take it. Me. I'm taking this. <laughs> what was really great was they called me last night and were like, here's what to expect. Here's what you're going to feel like. And so now I know like all of this stuff that I'm feeling is like That's good. totally normal. I Ooh. felt better in my life. Does that hurt? What? Move your arm? No. It would hurt no. to like pick something up, I think. Okay. It would really hurt if Lucy jumped on my body. Oh, Lucy, go away. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna sleep for two days. I think you're right. For reals, a two day nap, I would do this for a two day nap. That was a joke. That was a bad one. I just FaceTimed Francesca because I thought she would think it was funny. Did she? She was like, you should probably go to sleep. She said, like, don't take my fucking phone. I'm gonna take your phone. <laughs> you checking email? No. I don't believe you. You're Isn't taking. there an app that's like for drunk people? And it's like, do you really want to send that? <laughs> yes, I think so. Probably have to. Okay, I'm gonna let you off the hook now. That was a good job. Thank you. One take wonder. I feel self-conscious. Hi. Hi. Okay, so it is almost a week later. Uh-huh. Um, and I I still am in like a tiny bit of pain, but the, I mean, the recovery process has been kind of amazing. Like I'm still not supposed to pick up anything, I think, heavier than a coffee pot for like six weeks. It's but a long time. like right now, I feel like I could pick up whatever. So I have to remind myself not to. Like I keep going to pick up furniture and I'm like right don't do that but in terms of how I feel Kendrick I I'm like embarrassed at how much I love it it's not like that's sexy it's like well I do but it's <laughs> but it's like I just feel so confident 
and I feel like I I don't feel like a different person. I feel like, oh right, this is how I, I feel. And I feel like I did a positive thing for myself, I feel positive about it, and I would do it again. And I think that that means it was the right choice for me. Not for everybody, but for me.